Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and today I'll be starting a new Let's Play of Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Considering uh, my, one of my most, I think it's pretty, sh my most watched video by like 5,000 views was a Jurassic Park game. It was Park Builder, the first episode. Uh, then, you know, I figured, why not start with Jurassic Park Operation Genesis as a way sort of to slowly kick myself back into doing these videos. So let's begin. John Hammond. Mm, that looks good to me. Here we go. And we're in. Now, uh, this game is slightly modded, this version. Nothing has been changed about pricing and such, but what I have changed is sort of the limits, so that, as you can see, we can have 9,999 of any building in the game, including fences and such. As well as we can unlock all nine dig sites and we can have a total of 15 dig teams. So yeah, let's have let's begin. Souvenir stand is the way I like to begin. And you know, this is a really cool area, I think, so I think I'll start by building here. also have the building model set to high because this game is not very tasking on my computer let's be honest here shouldn't be tasking on very many computers nowadays some restrooms down here at the end. Build a nice sort of restaurant there. And a cleaner depot there. Yeah, fun fact, yeah. Gonna hire staff straight away. Five staff straight away, keep that park clean for a very long time. As well as put a bin on each corner. Put some benches, at least a bench to every sort of path is my thing, or sort of like the code I go by for this game. So let's have a look. I think we'll build the first exhibit here. I'm going to... Well, actually, before I build anymore, I want to have a look for dinosaurs somewhere. Albertosaurus and Pachycephalosaurus. Alright. Let's that size. Hmm. No, we'll go up one more. This is something that I have a habit of doing is building exhibits far too large, but I'm hoping maybe I can sort of keep a good bit out. I'm doing some terraforming is because I also like to keep my buildings kind of away from the fences or at least where I suspect the general public will be most of the time there we go now let's just terraform this here a bit more that should be good uh -huh. yep there we go You know, I actually think this will be a bit small, honestly, for them. So I'm going to go ahead and make this for the Albertosaurus. Do I want to release it now, though? That's the problem I'm facing. Uh, or will I just increase the size of it? Good bit of money wasted already, but sure. You win some, you lose some. I'm gonna keep it in normal deal for now. And of course. 
fourth of army from the Angvents. This will be set to play pen. I assume it's enough. And once our first dinosaur comes free, what we can do? Oh, I forgot to do this. Anyway, once the first dinosaur comes out, let's have a look. Ah, oh, look at that guy. You know, considering this game came out in what, like 2003, maybe? Probably not even. I'd say this game works quite well. Now here's something most of you guys don't know. You can actually raise the price up to like 720, I believe it is, before it gets really too expensive. You still get about five visitors per each time, so. A new fossil shipment. Wowee. I like having a path connected there because I just feel it makes sense. There's our park so far. There they are. Now you may be wondering why I think that was too small for you know these two dinosaurs. Well, if we go on ahead and have a look in here, you can see that they're friends with Homo, Homo, Homolocephale. God damn, I'm getting out of practice with my dinosaur names. And Homolocephale, if we go and have a look inside the Dinopedia. go ahead homolocephale is this little guy here and i usually create about five of them possibly six depending on you know generally um but anyway the point is like basically there'll be smaller dinosaurs running about in here so you know fill windows higher wonder window So yeah, now we're going to suffer from a problem with all games like this. I'm pretty sure it's because it's mostly Tycoon 2 as well. Uh, yeah, it takes forever for anything to really happen. I love these high building models because I remember playing this game on the PS2. And dear God, was like the amount of freaking... Uh, the, the bad quality and stuff, textures, like I tried playing it a, number a couple of days ago on my PS2 and just because the fact that my PS2 stretched the screen to my 32 inch TV, the game was just like ripped out of its proportions. It did not look good at all. Hmm. I just realized I forgot to start recording, so hopefully quite good about how much and uh, about my estimated time or so. Oh, and there we go, we got some guests in. Okay, so we got three to start with. Which isn't that bad, honestly. And we got, yeah, park is all right. Nevada and North Dakota. They're the only places in the world where guests can come from, apparently. Uh, let's have a look then. Well, basically, if we have a look here in the weather, it's going to rain, so once that's done, we'll start researching uh, weather forecasting. But as you can see, like that's all we've taken up with this island. This island is massive. So what I'm hoping is we'll get this here done this area and then we'll slowly expand out now i'll get to the point we'll have another entrance here here probably here as well or something and just in general have a few entrances to put us because uh, this game does have a crowding mechanic which means if there if everyone comes to the same place this place would get really overcrowded really quickly Ooh, ankylosaur I'll 
also have the dino dinosaur limit off so that we can have uh, 900 9999 of uh, of like total dinosaurs just to ensure you know that we kind of keep the park nice and populated don't want too little there we go Because I don't really have any an exciting dinosaur at the moment. <laughs> These guys are pretty cool, but you know. Building there. Look at them. You see, uh, this is going to be quite a change for me because usually I do have the prices modded so that paths and stuff are really cheap. Uh, I keep buildings the same, but I make paths cheap, benches cheap, bins cheap, and I make the trees cheaper. I mean, I make it so that uh, planting normal trees is one, and planting paleo trees is five. I'll purchase additional teams. How much? Not yet. I have a rule, I have a rule which basically means that I don't spend money unless I have to. Unless my money is over uh, 20,000. Sort of like here, where I'm going to have to spend money to get that research. Available from your nearest Disney World fan. Is that guy wearing a hat? Oh, yeah, look at that sick cap. Your feet appear to be merging into the ground, good sir. Enrico. Enrico. You know, I really like the look of this game. I know it doesn't exactly look like the best game ever, but it's just something about it. I just feel like the graphics aren't honestly bad in any way, really. I just feel like it's more themed than anything. Well, or maybe it's just because, you know, there's sort of nothing to compare it to, so it just kind of looks good. You know, you've got Sue Tycoon, but it doesn't have dinosaurs or anything in it. Uh, the new one I'm talking about, not Sue Tycoon 2. Sue Tycoon 2 was intentionally done cartoony. The new one tried to go with a realistic look. Yeah, we got $10, guys. Here comes the helicopter. Let's see how many we get. One, two, three. You know, I'm going to bring that down to 540. Wow, really? Alright. Uh, well, this is a great start. <laughs> I have to admit, we did get not my favorite starting group. I prefer the uh, Dryosaurus and Ceratosaurus. As well as the other one, what is it? It's the Parasaurolophus and Florosaurus there. That's a really good one. Especially for star rating. That one gives you stars so quick because, you know, they're two fairly large creatures to begin with, a three star and a four star I believe, plus the actual Champlosaurus, which you can unlock later. This one we unlock the Ankylosaurus, the Albertosaurus, and the Pachycephalosaurus. Uh, the way I'll be doing this is basically by what dinosaurs I get, so as you can see I've got these dinosaurs, uh, that prefers being alone, and then depending on what that favourite prey is, and what that that's best friend, which is a homolocephali, then that will sort of dictate what I get next. So if we have a look here, to small carnivores, Bertosaurus, what is your favorite? Parasaurolophus. So really I have a choice here then. I can choose between getting something that has the Parasaurolophus in it or the Homolocephali. I'm, uh, I think I'm going to go for Homolocephali because that also comes with Velociraptor. Alright guys, you may have seen a wee jump there in the audio or something, that is because I did have to go and get myself a drink, which would involve me uh, pausing the video. Let's see what we've got here. Albertosaurus, that's what we're looking. Let's get some more. Oh, it's a low. Yay. Uh, well, basically the reason we want an Albertosaurus is because, you know, it's going to give us you know, a bit more publicity, basically. So if you guys could hear that, I'm going to take a drink. Yeah, but you know, I, I can see this all turn into a nice little park. 
if all goes according to plan no twisters i have been through this game quite a few times without hitting a single twister and that has been great honestly well basically here's what i'll do um for this year's series i'm going to record the first four episodes probably now or so and um oh we better count this here and uh what be whatever the reaction is to those four episodes then maybe i'll upload the rest I'll probably upload the rest anyway, because, you know, there's no point in doing them and not uploading them, really. But I, I do plan on doing this, ca continuing on the series. I'm not sure if there'll be, like, a consistent time frame on it yet when I upload. I doubt it'll be, you know, daily or anything, considering right now I'm going through exam time in school, and um, later on I'll be working pretty much the whole week, so maybe, like, two videos a week at most, probably, if I was to set one. Uh... One thing I love about this game, probably probably the most by a bit, is the soundtrack. Like right now, everything's all peaceful and they give us this a nice, delightful little soundtrack just to listen to while we're doing this. Well, anyway, I'm going to end the first episode there, guys. Thank you guys for watching. See you all later.